Okay, so a drill and a pair of chopsticks walk into a bar. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be going over what to do after you're done your workout and you have your wraps. Well, there's a few things you can do and I'll go over a couple of them. One, a little fun. That in today's episode of... That's right, custom. One of the first ways we'll be going over today is going to be how to roll up your wraps. Now this is something that you probably already do, and if you haven't, you probably know who does. You simply just take it, you wrap it around your finger, and you spend the time to sit here and wrap it. Uh, do to do to do so house wife and kids, yeah, okay, that's nice. You, know, you got a new dog? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, it takes forever, but you'll get it done. And you'll wrap them up. Now, there's nothing wrong with this been doing this for years, but there's a better way, I think. Now, before we get going, I just want to give you a little tidbit about myself. On this, I don't do it the way people expect or normally do. First off, most people will not wrap their, their wraps back up while they're wet. After you've been working out and you got them all nice and sweaty, you take them off. A lot of people just toss them in their bag. They might wash them when they get home, or they might just wait until they fully dry and then wrap them up. Now, that is to help extend the life of the wraps. And that, 100% is probably true. Um, they're like five bucks. I could care less how long they last. If they last six months, great. Don't care. Um, but what I'll do is, I'll, while they're a little damp, I don't want them fully dry, but while they're damp, I'll roll them up then. Now the reason I do that is to allow it to flatten out. So if you wait till they're dry and all the twists in here, these folds will stay in there. And when you go to wrap them the next time, a little bit more difficult. And it might actually be painful if those get twisted up and they actually get in the wrap itself because you're just trying to hurry up to get out and go hit the bag. They might be a problem. So I, while they're still moist, I'll wrap them up. Not a big deal. Then when you need to, wash them obviously. Well, we have our first method here, or we can go with our second. Now this, all you need is a pair of chopsticks and any kind of drill. So the good news about this is these are free. Don't pay for this. I mean, that's the whole point of this is it's free. But you get a pair of chopsticks to your local Chinese restaurant, and you'll notice they'll come like this with a little box that you have to break. So we'll do that. Snap. Set one to the side. Now we're almost done. I'm gonna come in a few inches, say right about here, and I'm gonna break it. Now, all that's done is make it a lot more manageable so it isn't wobbling around as we're doing this. Take your drill, stick it in there, lock it up. Now the square section is what we're gonna be using. Because the tip of this is so smooth it will just slide around on it and won't catch and it makes it great when you want to pull them off because they come off super easy but it's so much harder to wrap them on the smooth side than it is the square and truly it's not much harder to get them off so let me show you what I'm talking about so just take your wrap take the thumb wrap portion and then we're just going to wrap it around it now this you will have to start off just a little bit. Um, all you do is get it going a couple times, just like that. And then all I'm going to do is slowly start wrapping. Turn the drill on and go. Now, what I'll do is I'll put that out here, get as much of the wrinkles and all that uh, folds out as possible. And what I'm going to do is kind of hold it. And what I'm going to do is just kind of give a little pressure to the wrap as I'm drilling. That way it goes on there nice and smooth. And as I'm doing this, I can control what I'm doing. So I can see, oh, I'm going way off. Oh, whoops. You can always stop, go back, and do it again. Not a big deal. Now, you'll keep going, do to do. Get it done. Now we're at the end. I'm just going to wrap it up. And there's one. Now what I'll do is I'll go... And I will take the other one and wrap it around it. So same thing. I'll start it 
with the first wrap and then just continue on. And then just get it going. As I'm going, make sure all the folds are out. Whoops, whoops, got a little offhand. Have to go back now, not a big deal. Now we're to the end. And like I said, we just wrap it up just like normal. Now, just pull it off. And to do that, what I'm doing is putting my thumb against this section here. So let's go ahead and do it like that so y'all can see. I'm putting my thumb against it and just kind of wiggle it a little bit. And just like that, off it comes. And now you have your wraps all the way wrapped up, nice, clean, ready for next use. So what do you think of this idea? A little fun? I think so. Is it any different than wrapping it up on your finger? Mm, not really. Get a little bit tighter wrap. Um, I don't know if this saves that much time, to tell you the truth. Just to save you a lot of effort. Don't know if you're like me, you've been out there, you've been hitting the bag and your shoulders are toast. And then you come in, you're like, oh, now I have to wrap up my wraps. And then you're sitting there and you're wrapping. And when your shoulders are already burnt, ooh, man, that makes it so much worse. But this, take it nice, relaxed. Let the drill do the work. It's a lot of fun. I think it's funny. But that's all you have to do to make one. They're literally free if you have the drill. So what do you think? Have you ever done this before? Do you have a hand wrap in your gym that you can use? Or do you just use classic finger method to wrap around your finger, pull them off, and you're done? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when my videos are posted each week. And, as always, the more you train, easier the fight.